Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. Should anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. The Assassin's Creed franchise is one of the biggest franchises of the current generation consoles. So does the newest edition of Assassin's Creed feel like the greatest installment of the games? Or does Revelations feel more like Assassin's Creed 2.5, like Brotherhood almost was? Many aspects of Revelations may seem disappointing to fans expecting a big improvement, but the story is so interesting and answers way too many questions that it can't be missed. The story in Assassin's Creed Revelations finally answers some of the questions that many Assassin's Creed fans have been longing to know, even from the first game. We learn the life story of Altair, the life story of Desmond up until this game, and learn so much more about Ezio, Subject 16, the war between Assassins and Templars, and more about the end of the world in 2012. This is pretty much the story, Ezio on a search for truth, and he finds it. Don't get me wrong, the story is great. It's long, and like the others, ends on a cliffhanger that leaves us wanting more. The game does feel slow paced and repetitive in the way Assassin's Creed 1 was, doing the same kind of missions in the same order for a big chunk of the game, but as usual the ending does make up for it, a little. Now the gameplay is easily the most disappointing thing about Assassin's Creed Revelations, with the only new improvement on the classic gameplay, the hook blade. It only takes about 10 minutes to learn how to use the hook blade to the max, and that's it. Besides that, you can expect the same platforming, heavily combat based gameplay. There is a new type of game mode like Tower Defense, where you place objects and assassins in certain spots to defend the assassin den. This feels dumb and pointless in the Assassin's Creed universe. Now the gameplay is not all old and bad, one major change in the gameplay is the Desmond sequences. Without spoiling the previous games, you play as Desmond in an interesting first person mode going through certain ob obstacles using platforms to get through them, so it's more of a puzzle type of game. This is very fun and it also explains the story of Desmond through his childhood up until the events of Assassin's Creed 1. This is easily the greatest expansion in Revelations gameplay, although it wasn't much of a fight to begin with. The graphics in Revelations isn't as much as an improvement from Brotherhood, barely noticeable actually, but the game looks still pretty damn good. The cities you visit in Revelations look stunning, Constantinople looks is huge and is very fun to travel around, especially with the new hook blade. Once again, you have great voice actors to take on famous roles from either the previous games or from history. The soundtrack is as great as the others and overall the game looks and sounds great. Once again, there is lots to come back to in Revelations after the story. Plenty of side missions, trophies, collectibles and more. Like in the other Assassin's Creed, your map is full of many things to do, which is bound to last you weeks. Most of these are fun, but some others are a little repetitive and old. Things like viewpoints and treasure chests are getting really old now, but things like data fragments make them fun to look for because they unlock things like Desmond's sequences. I look before this comes to multiplayer. I'm sad to say multiplayer is the same thing as Brotherhood's was, the maps look way too similar, the systems are way too familiar, only little changes have been added to the multiplayer, things like an improved matchmaking, emblems and taunts, a small add to the multiplayer that are cool, but really should have more for a sequel. Nevertheless, the multiplayer is still fun, uses the same formula that made Brotherhood's multiplayer so successful, and it even has its own story. That's right, the multiplayer has its own story. As you level up, you unlock cutscenes that advance the story from the Templar side of the war. It's pretty cool. 
So there are a few new cool additions to the multiplayer, the story being the best one of them, but it still looks like Brotherhood way too much. Overall, Assassin's Creed Revelations is a good game. As a sequel, it's disappointing. The gameplay and multiplayer and even the replay value are way too similar to Brotherhood that if people saw Revelations without knowing it was Revelations, they could get confused with it with Brotherhood. I'm serious. But the answers to long time questions, the Desmond sequences and the story itself is enough for a buy from an Assassin's Creed fan. Thanks for watching my Assassin's Creed Revelations review. I'm Mega Gamer and stay tuned for my playthrough of Revelations coming soon to this channel.